Hello ladies and gents, here is your host Evan and you're watching the Evan Creative Toots uh, in the YouTube. So uh, this is the second tutorial uh, I am making for you uh, with all my love of course. Uh, in the first tutorial I show you how you can create the Brazuca Bowl, the official bowl of the World Cup in the football in Brazil and of course it's not soccer, it's football for the Europeans at least and uh, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own football inside Cinema 4D the better way uh, without you know having a texture we're gonna create our own texture and uh, actually we're gonna put the flag of our nation so um, you know to make it look more exciting and more sexy ready to play some ball right so let's go we have some things to learn today i think this tutorial is better than the brazuca tutorial i showed you uh, 10 days ago so uh, probably you're gonna learn a lot of stuff so sit tight and watch my tutorial so let's go i'm working of course uh, with uh, cinema 4d and I have just created this sexy ball out from the same technique I'm going to show you right now. So let's just close this one and let's just go and file new. So we have a clean start, you know, an empty place to begin. So we go and we don't really need a ball. We just need a polygon. So let's go and create the platonic actually uh, stuff, you know, this kind of rock or something and let's just change this type from ecosa well actually for everybody who has a you know a strange feeling what this kind of stupid words are meaning so these words are you know uh, actually they're not original full words but they are coming from greek words so this tetra is like the four you know uh, four um, corners or places I think uh, sides actually I got it so it's one two three four uh, so it's tetra tetra is uh, actually tetraedro or tetraplevro tetraplevro actually this is it uh, so it's Greek so don't worry hexa is hexaedro hexaplevro so it's hexide six one two three four five in the back and six on the bottom and you understand that so you know a little bit of greek right now so tetra hexa octa is octo is eight so it's uh, eight sides dodega it's 12 and ikosa is 20 and we just need the baki whatever <laughs> so we got the ball right now you see we have a actually we have um, a kind of a ball right now so we just really need to make this editable so let's just make it editable superbly and then just go and select the polygons select the live selection and actually we just need to make these boxes this you know half cut it boxes one unite united box so just click in the middle and then do that press the u button and then the zend and you got your meltdown actually uh, i have to i have to select this uh, us and not german so now it's gonna work super so we got that we just need to make this united so we need the boxes to be not cut it like that but united you know simple easy stuff and you know it's really funny to be able to learn cinema 4d and actually learn some greek i think you know two lessons in one package is always a better deal so we have now this um, you know multi-sided uh, object that you no know, it looks like uh, a stoned ball or something so uh, let's just put that you know just select the sides and melt them you know it's U and zent wonderful i love the shortcuts you know makes the life lot easier so let's go in the back you know here you know it's the only hard thing about this tutorial you know to be to have to um you know melt the whole sides in one single box but you know it's not so harsh anyway 
So let's go here and do that and do that. And we are almost done. Just be careful not to select more than two because if you do that, you have to go again from the start. So uh, it's all back to you. So we select this one and those two and this one. Wonderful. And I think we're almost there. Yeah, you know, a lot of work. And here, superbly. And uh, I think we're done. Yeah, we did it. So our object is ready to be a ball. So let's go now to the polygons right here. Just click here and then just do that. Control and A. Command A on the max. So right now we have selected the whole thing, the whole object. And right now all we need to do is that. Let's go here, right click and go to extrude inner. Right now we have the maximum angle 89, offset 5, silly, silly numbers. Let's go to 20 and maybe 1. And so we have that. You see? We have, uh, you know, some extra sides right now from the extrude inner. So we can just, you know, play. I think one is super, maybe half, you know, 0.5 is okay also. And right after we have already have, um, you know, cut it the middle lines from the ball. So we are very, very good right now. Our ball is looking, is starting to looking sexy and better. So right now, after the extrude inner, right click, and go to extrude and just you know take this just a tiny bit again those silly numbers they have to go away 20 and maybe two or something and you see you got your uh, boxes coming out so it's alive maybe it's alive so we have to make this uh, you know much more better so uh, we have cut it with uh, extrude inner and afterwards we had um, you know extruded simple so now it's the time to make this um, this uh, corners to be more soft so right click and uh, right click and go to bevel and just a tiny bit of bevel of uh, bevel not bevel <laughs> so let's just take this one and one and 20. So uh, we have just a tiny bit of bevel. Uh, we just need to increase the subdivision so we can, you know, make this uh, more soft. I think it's super. And we have uh, a very, very sexy ball right away, but it looks like a spacecraft or something. Nothing like a football ball. OK, so we are almost there, but not exactly there. So the next step is this right click and select the matrix or matrix extrude just click that of course the steps should be less one and then we hit the tab we go to the move we just uh right here you know a really tiny number let's say uh, 2.5 or 3 or something let's just type 3 and the scale should be 90 for the start hit enter and right away we have just created that, but of course the rotate should be zero and it's superbly good, but I think this should be two. Great. So a uh, new transform right now so we can repeat this uh, matrix extrude. So just click that and then just type here 1.5 and then 70. And you see that we have creating an extra uh, effect inner effect of the ball so actually we want to make the boxes look more spiky uh, so uh, to make it look more realistic so new transform again so let's just keep that uh, at one and then just go to 50 and 50 and there we are so our ball is much more better right now you see that it looks uh, you know like a real real ball you see super great but we are not there yet so let's go uh, let's just uh, right click this one go to cinema 4d tags and let's just go to the funk tag and right now our ball looks and feels sexy don't you agree 
it uh, it looks really really great i think so uh, but of course we're not there yet let's just uh, put a flag a material so let's go to create new material let's just put the greek flag so we are greeks uh, greeks well, greek flag and let's just go to the color just hit the texture and let's just load this baby here so open um, we don't really need to transfer that to anywhere else and it is okay of course we have to increase just a tiny bit of the reflection maybe at about 25 or so and we are looking great and let's just put the ball and the material and then if you put the material right away you're gonna get mad because oh my goodness what is going on here too many greek flags anyway and too many you know uh stuff over here going on and it's really really distracting and disgusting as i can say so we have to go to the map over here to the texture tag actually this flag and so we have to go to the projection and let's just change this one from uvw mapping to spherical and right away yes we have the flag baby and then we have to just tiny bit of edits in order to make this uh, you know be in front or something well if you just put a different flag you have to reorder it uh, you know um, for the needs of the new flag okay so let's just uh, go and i'm gonna offset this just a tiny bit i'm gonna put it right about here i think it's gonna be okay i'm gonna offset it uh, higher maybe lower or something so we have it you see it looks really really good i'm gonna shoot this side over here and i'm going to put a light so let's just put the light over here and over here maybe and a little bit here so it's looking good let's go to the shadows soft and let's just hit the render and the ball is looking really good but it's gonna look better anyway let's just go inside here i'm gonna increase the um, reflection to 35 or 40 why not so we got that hit the render and uh, i think it looks better so right now we have the ball i'm gonna actually create a, a background so or something maybe i'm gonna create a sky so let's go and create a sky or physical sky so it's gonna look better hit the render yeah it looks better but it looks more fake i can say right now because it's not so roundy so let's go in here let's just uh, decrease the reflection to 20 or so so just render again and the ball looks good right now not so uh you know shiny and reflective but it's not so roundy so uh, right now i'm gonna show you a really big secret of how you can create uh, a ball roundy so let's go here we have the platonic i'm gonna name this ball super and we have our ball we have the texture on we have the lights we have the physical sky we just need to make this look more round mate so let's do it we just go to the deformers and we just click the spherify and right away we're gonna put the spherify on the ball boom and we have the ball the roundy ball we were always looking for let's just render this one and there you have it this is your bowl this is wonderful bowl and this is only for you my friends if you see those ugly little creatures over here you know those little stuff let's just go to the render settings and uh, let's go to the anti-aliasing and use best probably they're gonna do the job you see looks much more better right now so this is the second tutorial i'm gonna show you maybe i'm gonna use a floor in order to make this you know more uh with a shadow or something so yeah it looks better so that was the second tutorial of evan creative toots the way to create your own ethnic ball uh, for the world cup of brazil so after the brazuca ball the you know the easy way of creating a ball with a texture 
now in this tutorial we have just seen how you can create your own bowl um, out from your own designing skills inside Maxon Cinema 4D. So use it for your own purposes and have fun!